think of it, this is your first time fishing, isn't it? Yep, it is. All right. Then let me show you how I used to do it back when I was your age. It'll be fun. We should be able to catch something here. But what are we going to fish with? <laughs> Nobody said anything about a rod, did they? My, my, yep. By dipping your tail in the water, you can feel the fish moving around. Pretty neat, huh? It's really easy once you get the hang of it. I mean, I haven't done it in a while since I don't have a tail anymore. But when I told my friend Bulma about it, she actually made me a makeshift tail to fish with. <laughs> can you believe it? <laughs> nice! Oh, okay! So what do you say? Let's catch us some fish! I'm pretty sure there's a good spot somewhere right around this place. <laughs> All right. to do what Chi Chi asked me to do first. when she sees this man. All this fishing is really working up an appetite. You know what I mean? Let's eat some of these fish. I mean, we got plenty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm a little hungry too. Let's roast our catch over the fire. What do you say? I'm hungry for some grilled fish. Okay. Time to grill up some fish in your belly? Ugh, I think I ate too much though. Well, if you want to be as big as your dad, you're gonna have to eat a lot of this stuff. <laughs> right. I had fun today, Dad. You know, I had fun today too. Thanks for your help. I'll teach you how to fish next time so we can do it together. Flying Nimbus is super fast! I'm 
been riding this whole thing since I was just a little kid. Only those with a pure heart can ride it. That explains why you've got no problems there. Yeah, this is fun. Something tells me we're going to be a little late. Sure old mom isn't too mad. Look, you're making me nervous, Gohan. Chi-Chi, we're back! And we've got food! Hi, Mom! You're late, Goku! It shouldn't have taken you so long to gather ingredients! Yeah, sorry about that. We did some training, too. You're supposed to introduce Gohan to Master Roshi and the others today! Wait! That's today? Of course! Uh, sorry about that. I promise I'll remember next time. Forget it. What are you waiting for? Get in here! I need to get cooking right away! Then I'll just take these ingredients and whip you up something tasty. stone me and Krillin used in our training. Me and him had to hunt this thing down. Krillin beat me then, but only because he cheated. 
I had to go hungry that night. <laughs> I'm going to see Master Roshi, my old master. His place is surrounded. Oh, yeah! <sighs> All right, I here are your lunches. Dig in. Thanks, TT. Your stuff's the best. Yeah. Pretty strong. Later, Chi Chi. We're off to see Master Roshi. Wait a second. Are you forgetting something, Goku? I thought you had something for Gohan. Oh, yeah, that's right. That little ball on top there? It's a dragon ball. I got it from my grandpa after he died. But that's not all you got from him. You are also named after him. Really? Oh my, Gohan looks so handsome. It'll be like he's watching over you whenever you wear that hat. So take real good care of it, okay, Gohan? Yeah, I will. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. We're leaving for real this time. Goku, don't let anything happen to our little Gohan. And Gohan, be on your best behavior. I will, Mom. Bye! I want you both home by supper, you got it? It said there are seven mystical orbs capable of granting any wish when brought together. With them, anything the heart desires can be attained, whether unfathomable riches or absolute power. These mysterious wish-granting orbs are known as the Dragon Balls. And it's around these Dragon Balls that this extraordinary story unfolds, with new challenges and adventures awaiting Goku and his friends at every turn. Hey, Dad? What's Master Roshi like? Well, he looks like a feeble old geezer, but he's super strong. Really? Though, it's a real shame he's kind of a massive pervert. Yeah, he was my rival at the time, but now he's my best friend. Is Krillin strong, just like you? Yeah, seriously, out of all the guys I know, he's definitely up there. There's also a woman I know named Bulma. See, she was looking for the Dragon Balls when she ran into me, and we ended up going on adventures together. If we hadn't done that, I probably wouldn't have met Master Roshi and the others. I see. Not too much longer until Master Roshi's place. Goku! Yo! Oh, and who's this little guy? Meet my son. What? what? Your, your son? Yeah. Wow. Nice to meet you. Oh, uh, nice to meet you too. His name is Gohan. Gohan? Oh, so you named him after your grandpa, huh? Yeah. Suits him, don't you think? Goku, have you been training? Well, not as much as I want to. Chi-Chi gets pretty angry if I train too much, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I haven't trained myself either. With Piccolo taken care of, things have been pretty quiet. Hey, you two, what are you talking about? Uh, 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 nothing really. Hmm, 
I could have sworn you two were talking about how you've both been slacking off on your training. <sighs> Guess there's no fooling you, is there, Master Roshi? It would seem you've both forgotten that training is a daily activity, not something you do only on special occasions. You should be moving, learning, playing, eating, and resting every day. That's the way of the turtles. I can't argue with you there. Now, to make sure you two never forget your daily training, I've got a little challenge for you. Come report back to me once you've finished your training. Yes, sir, Master Roshi. Yes, sir, Master Roshi. Now, time to get back to my...
He's got your looks, but does he have your power too? I'm betting that he's pretty strong if I had to guess. But I can't be sure since Chi Chi won't let me train him to find out one way or the other. It ain't no meteor! on this planet are still alive. Kakarot's famous. Uh, uh, what are you? A power level of only five? What trash. Uh, stay back! Is this the best this planet can muster? Well, now, here's a large power reading. Distance 4880. Kakarot? <laughs> what in the world could that have been? Never felt the power like this. Not sure what this is, but I better check it out. It isn't Goku. Well now, this could be fun. But if it isn't him, then who is it? What's going on? Gee, so it wasn't Kakarot after all. Who the hell are you? I don't have time to waste with you. Wait a minute. This is a Namekian, isn't it? What the hell is a Namekian doing on this planet? If that's true, then what are you even doing here? You got a death wish? <laughs> You've got spunk, I like that. Hmm. A power level of 322, huh? You're definitely stronger than the others. But you wouldn't even be a warm-up for me. You're making a mistake and underestimating.
that all, huh? Is it my turn now? Time to show you what real power looks like. I'm getting another large power reading. That's got to be Kakarot. Impossible. Who the hell is this guy? And where is he going? <laughs> well, if it isn't Kakarot, you've grown. You look just like our old man. What? Tell me, Kakarot, what is this? You were supposed to exterminate all life on this planet. What have you been doing all this time? Huh? Who are you? And who's Kakarot? Should I know who that is? You've got to be kidding me. You don't remember? Fine then, allow me to refresh your memory. You're not from this filthy planet. You were born on planet Vegeta. You're a member of the proud and mighty warrior race, the Saiyans. And that's not all. I'm your older brother, Right. You're lying! That can't be true! Long ago, you were sent to this pathetic planet to rid it of all life! We say and search the universe for habitable planets and wipe out all who live there so that we can sell those planets to the highest bidder. We snot-nosed brats like you are sent to low-level planets. And fortunately, it looks like this one's got a moon. If this guy's telling the truth, then these Saiyans are some real bad dudes. Wait, what about the moon? What does that have to do with anything? Don't play dumb with me. We Saiyans release our true power whenever there's a full moon. Even chumps like you should know that. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I think Krillin's right. You guys are the worst. My name's Son Goku and I'm from Earth. Take your lies and get out of here. <laughs> Well, I couldn't even if I wanted to, because Planet Vegeta was blown to smithereens by a meteor. Almost all of our brethren have been turned to space dust now. <sighs> Including me and you, there are only four Saiyans left. Just the other day, we found a planet that should fetch us a high price. The three of us were going to have a hell of a time trying to overtake it. And that's when I remembered you. Kakarot, the planet is as good as ours if you join us. Come on, Kakarot, think of the fun we'll have. Isn't your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement? Just shut up! If you think I'm joining you, then you're dumber than you look. Huh. Fine. Be that way. That little runt with the tail behind you is your kid, right? I guess I'll just take him instead. Huh? Come any closer and I'll knock you sky high! <laughs> oh yeah? Well, go ahead if you think you can. Gohan's not going anywhere with you! Scared? Yeah, go on, get out of here! Kakarot, don't touch your family, your people! Rock, paper, scissors! And everyone!
face him head on. At least if we tried on our own. But together, if we were to team up, we just might be able to take him down. Yeah, you're probably right. But can I really trust you? What's your angle in all this? Don't get the wrong idea. It isn't that I care in the slightest about your little kid or the Earth. That fool thing standing between me and world domination the moment he and his cronies are out of the picture I finally rid myself of you then the world will be mine for the taking you're crazy if you think I'm about to let that happen but for now I guess we got to join forces guess there's really no getting around that precisely break.
Nice weather. His tail's probably his weak point. If we can squeeze his tail, he should be vulnerable. That's what happened whenever mine got grabbed. How are we supposed I'll to- I'll make quick work of you. to deal with this now. We're closing in on him. Let's head down and move in for the attack. No. He's using a device that tells him our strengths as well as our location. Kid, no way! Damn, this thing must be busted! What? Another reading? And it's heading straight for me! There's one. No, oh, there's two. With power levels 322 and 334, they've come. So, what brings you chumps here? Isn't it obvious? I'm here to get my son back! Where is he? You're hiding him somewhere, aren't you? His screaming was giving me a headache, so I locked him up in there. But forget about the rot. Don't tell me you actually think you stand a chance against me. You fool! You're not even fit to call yourself a Saiyan! Prepare to die! Yeah! 
fighting us. Nothing but Or you're both dead. Maybe I'll start giving a little more oxygen to my attacks. This game ends now. No way! <laughs> Even with your combined power, you're still pathetic. But considering you weren't smart enough to heed my warning, don't deserve to live. You gotta be kidding me! You know what, since you're going to die anyway, I might as well tell you something. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. If you've got a new attack hidden up your sleeve, now's the time to use it, Goku! <laughs> Sorry. I'm fresh out. Huh. <laughs> Lucky for you, I actually came up with a new technique while I was training. Really? A plan? Ha! <laughs> It'd be easier just to lie down and wait for the sweet release of death! I'm just going to need enough time to charge up the proper energy for it. <clears throat> going to need you to keep him busy while I deal with this. Got it. I'll do what I can. Hope you're ready for this. Special Beam Cannon! Huh. You just don't know when to quit. What were you two trying to decide? Who gets to die first? Here goes! Here goes! Here 
game ends now. just because you're my little brother. Yes! Yes, that's what I like to hear. It'll all be over soon. <laughs> Don't get comfortable. You're next. Damn, if I try to hit him now, he's just going to dodge it.
Impossible. I, I can't be beaten by scum like this. I can't. Well, you just were. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe that Hakamot would just throw away his own life. You idiot. Trust me, Goku won't be dead for very long. What? Didn't you know? This planet is home to the Dragon Balls. They grant wishes. Absolutely any wish imaginable. Even bringing someone back from the dead. <laughs> Damn it. Well, my comrades will be happy to hear that. <laughs> Everything you just said was transmitted to them on the other side of the universe. <clears throat> Once they've learned that I've died, they will come here. How long until then? When, when will they... When do you think they'll get here? Uh, a year. Just one year from now. <laughs> Damn it. One year before even stronger warriors arrive. You two have no hope of beating them. Enjoy what little time you have left. <laughs> Hey, hey. That's pretty much it. Come on, Goku. Hang in there. It's not like you to give up so easily. Krillin, you know, dying is a lot worse than I thought it would be. Yeah, yeah but don't you worry. We're going to bring you back really soon. <laughs> He's gone! Interesting. I bet Kami has something to do with this. Yeah. Well, I guess we can put our minds at ease if Kami's involved. You guys need to get the Dragon Balls. Kami doesn't possess the power needed to bring someone back to life. Also, Goku's kid will be coming with me for the time being. Hey, what? Uh, you, you're kidding, right? What are you gonna do with him? With a little training and the right teacher, that kid could be capable of serious power. We're going to need all the power we can get before those two Saiyans show up in a year. Me training this little runt is our best shot to stand a chance. Once Goku's revived, tell him I'll get his son back and in better shape than he left him. Meanwhile, on a planet far, far from Earth, went and got himself killed. He always was an embarrassment. Still, I must admit, I'm very interested in these Dragon Balls. So they're capable of granting any wish? All right, let's go. We're gonna bring Raditz back from the dead? Don't make me laugh. We have no more use for that dead weight. We could wish for eternal youth, for immortality. Can you imagine it? Nothing could possibly stand in our way. Sounds good to me. Count me in! Invigorated by the prospect of attaining immortality with the Dragon Balls, the two Saiyans made their way to Earth.
And that is why I brought him here as he is. To be trained further. Therefore, if it is agreeable to you, King Yama, I humbly ask that you allow him to meet with King Kai. Hmm, I see. So you intend to take this heaven-bound soul and subject him to the grueling 625,000 mile long snake way so he can meet King Kai. Indeed. Very well. If you wish to see King Kai, then I suggest you be on your way. However, I should warn you that no one has ever, ever made it successfully, other than myself, of course, in over 100 million years. Must be one heck of a journey. I better get started. By the way, did a guy named Raditz come through here? Yes. We've got him marked down for hell, of course. Did he put up much of a fight? He sure did. He definitely didn't go quietly, but I sorted him out. Whoa! You must be one heck of a strong guy! So, you were sent along with him, huh? I am the great King Yemma. I occupy a position above that of the Earth's Guardian. Do you know what that means? That means you're crazy strong. Right? You don't seem to understand what I'm saying. Of course I'm strong, but it's not just my strength that serves me in this position. You need brains to do this kind of managerial work. Man a, man a what work? Now then, to help you better understand my work, let's... Uh, well, um... Well then, if that's going to be your attitude, then I guess you don't need to see King. Oh, what? Okay, okay. Why didn't you say that from the beginning? Anyway, let's begin. I'll let you through if you can answer all of my questions correctly. That's right. He made a mess of enough planets to earn himself a... In fact, he's one of the biggest pains we've ever had to deal with. Right. Next! Correct. Of course I am. I am much more powerful. Isn't that right? Ah, uh, yes, King Yama. You are more powerful. Right. Next question. That's right. No matter where they're from, all who die come here. Like your brother. He wasn't an earthling. Next question. Not bad. That's correct. Those pesky Dragon Balls are indeed how you do it. I hate those things. It's like my job doesn't even matter. Who created those blasted balls? Care to shed some light on that combo? Oh, uh, King Yama, I... Whatever. Moving on. Sorry, but... Huh? What? This is the fifth question, right? Really? Um, one, two, three, hmm. Of course it was, I... I was just testing you. And you passed the test. Well, that was the true fifth question. There's that trademark denial of his. Hmm. I heard that, Kami. Maybe I'll send you to hell when it's your time. Please forgive me, your highness. Boy, he's got one hell of a sense of hearing. Oh, you think you're some sort of funny man. Hm. That's enough of all this. I will allow you to see King Kai. Wow, really? Thanks a bunch, Mr. Yemma. Don't tell me you've forgotten who you're talking to. No, 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 Mr. I'm King Yemma. I haven't. That's more like it. If you're going to see King Kai, then go. Well, this is where we part ways. Good luck, Goku. Thanks. I'm not really sure what to expect, but I'm pumped to meet this King Kai guy.
Time to wake up, kid. You slept long enough. Huh? Who, who are you? Listen up. Time for a reality check. Your daddy is dead, okay? He sacrificed himself to kill the man who kidnapped you, in case you forgot. His friends are vigilant and able to find the Dragon Balls. They can bring him back. However, we've got other things to deal with. Though we were able to defeat Raditz, it sounds like we've got two of his buddies to worry about a year from now. If that's really the case, your father and I probably aren't going to be enough to take these guys down. We need power. Your power. You're going to have to learn to fight and defend the Earth. Gohan's Crash Course in Survival. Once I'm done whipping you into shape, you'll be tough enough for anything. Got it? So, you're gonna train me? Okay, what do I have to do? You have to live out here on your own, without distraction. I'm giving you six months. If you're able to survive for that long, I'll teach you how to fight. See ya.